my name is uh, Emmanuel Ejike Moto. I'm a Nigerian. I'm from the eastern part of Nigeria and I live in Lagos, former capital of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And uh, I am a priest of the Anglican Communion. I belong to the Diocese of Lagos West, Anglican Communion in Nigeria. And uh, I am a venerable, an archdeacon by ranking. Well, I came to India because of medical challenges that uh, confronted me, which I've been living with for some time, over five years. It has to do with uh, prostate enlargement. And uh, when I arrived Hyderabad, Hyderabad Airport on the 19th, you know, being Monday, Monday, and uh, immediately there, there were people waiting to receive us. Uh, headed by a very lovely lady, uh, Mrs. Uh, Eva. Eva Paul. From the airport, we started to serve all the hospitality, Indian hospitality. So they took us. Then when we arrived at the reception ground of the hospital, obviously we were treated like uh, kings and uh, lords. Obviously. I was immediately admitted and uh, there are several investigations, laboratory investigations that were carried out of me. And uh, the tests, now having been diagnosed by the doctors, eventually uh, they decided that the type of treatment, of course I had in mind that I would be undergoing surgery. But after all the tests, investigations, then it was you know, found out that there won't be necessary for any surgery. So I was given uh, um, drugs which I'll be taking that will correct all the problems. And I want to say that I'm deeply satisfied with the reception that we had when we arrived and the treatment, the hospitality, the uh, hospital staffs, and every one of them, the nurses, that I discovered they are called sisters in India. Cleaners, the, those that uh, bring in uh, food, the catering department, they are all good. Uh, the cleaners, they are beautiful, very uh, uh, hospitable and very cheerful, very cheerful. We appreciate all of them. They are very good. And uh, he said, we became friends with every one of them, but even Upon the language barrier, we communicate happily, lovingly. I must have to testify of one day I was tensed up, acute headache, and I had, um, I was, it's like I was feeling severe headache. And then I beckoned on one of the sisters, they checked my blood pressure. I wasn't a patient, but she did it and directed me to the emergency ward, emergency section, sorry. And there, the way the doctors, nurses, they surrounded me, playing with me, you know, chatting. Immediately tested my BP, confirmed it was high. I was given treatment immediately on the emergency section that night, around 1 p.m. I really appreciated it. So, uh, the night, uh, we went to outpatient. Uh, department too. They were just admiring us, playing with us. Some we said they want to touch us. They said they want to take pictures with us. You know, I was just playing with them. They were showing sign of loving. So I never knew that Indians are very loving like that. In fact, when I get back to Nigeria, I have to commend the country one, then the care hospital because they are really caring. The hotel is fantastic too. So their services, 100%. So I love everything about the country. I'm not just playing. I'm not kidding, but I'm saying the right thing. So I'm very grateful. I thank God because we are going healthier and happy. 
I say to God be the glory. Thank you very much.